sometimes referred to as the Great Wall of Dorset. Three miles long, it's just one symbol of the seemingly endless wealth of this area's largest private landowner, Conservative MP Richard Drax. This is Charborough Park, Richard Drax's enormous country estate, thousands of acres worth. But it's not just what's behind me that belongs to him and his family. They own huge swathes of Dorset and get most of their income today from farming and from rent. But the origins of this vast wealth are 4,000 miles away, the sugar plantations of Barbados. Built in the 1600s, Drax Hall overlooks land where a fortune was built on the back of the slave trade. Passed through the family for generations, Richard Drax is the latest to inherit. Now there are calls for him to relinquish it. We are seeking compensation. Mr Drax visited us and was engaged in conversation with the Prime Minister and myself. We are appealing to his conscience. And if that does not work, then we have to go to the ultimate, which is the World Court in order to resolve these issues. Back in South Dorset, Grafton Straker, a constituent of Richard Drax of Barbadian heritage, agrees. I was born in Barbados. I see the crops. I saw black people cutting sugar cane in Barbados. And it breaks my heart. I think the symbol of the wealth has come from slavery, the slave trade of the Caribbean and of Barbados. And we would like him to hand the land back. Richard Drax. He's been an MP since 2010, but has never spoken publicly about his family's historic links to slavery. Time's up, Mr Drax. He was confronted by it, though, in the wake of the Black Lives Matter movement, as anti-racism campaigners called on him to make amends. But should he bear any responsibility for the actions of his ancestors? The reparations argument has become very controversial because people look at it as a money grab. They think it's a long time ago, but the rever rever reverberations rather of it is still being felt by um, the descendants of enslaved people. As a newly established republic, Barbados is looking to its future, but also its past, with talks ongoing between the country's politicians and Richard Drax. He refused to comment. But as the calls grow louder, can they break through the silence in South Dorset? And behind the wall, is anyone willing to listen? Liz Bates, Sky News, Dorset.